Okay, let's build this buddy. Almost 200. Okay, so they, they mean Celsius, in which case, yes. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Oh, good. It's a puzzle. It's almost one in the morning. I, I'm not sure that I'm gonna solve this puzzle in 60 seconds. Oh, okay, it doesn't make me go back and forth more annoying. What does it want me to do? Am I making them both the same? Wait, hold on, I need to look at the instructions again. Yeah, the file I got. I thought he was gonna tell me again, because he tends to tell me again. Can I look at this without the... Oh, there we go. But what are we trying to... trying to do? Make... are we trying to make them correct? The ultimate goal is here, right? Oh. No, I did look at it. I don't know. I, I skipped the dialogue because you guys are really chatting. I don't know what the goal is. I don't understand what the goal is. Like, what am I trying to get the weight to? They're not gonna tell me again. Yeah, I don't know- Pat, do you know what the goal of this puzzle is? Or is it just- Okay, oh, we're just trying to get it to do is- is to be the thing in the files. Okay, I don't know why I wasn't understanding that. Wait, she's trying- we're trying to get her to 30- to 33- but 53.2, okay. 53.2. No, but isn't that the starting word that- Okay, whatever, I figured it out. I- that- I did not do that in the intelligent way, but we're done. Okay, yeah, let's get out.
I'm gonna stop after we're done with whatever happens immediately after I go through this door, which hopefully won't be a ton of dialogue. Hey, hold on. Oh, uh, what's up? Where's Clover? Huh? Oh, never mind. This oh, is God damn cool it. Thing, Where the me? hell did she go? Uh, okay, just hold on a minute. I'll go get her. Sure thing. Hey, Clover. What's wrong? Come on. Let's get out of here. What are you doing? Did you want to come back here and say goodbye to John? Hey, Clover. Can you hear me? My brother might be dead. Uh, huh? That's why we couldn't find him. If he's dead, I'm going to be next. What, what are you talking about? What's wrong with you? Uh, that is not grammatically sound. Oh, yeah. It's in my pocket somewhere. Uh, ah, here it is. I don't really know why I'm giving it to her, but it seems like maybe I'm supposed to. Hey, did you know? Each leaf means something. Hope, faith, love, and luck. That's what a four-leaf clover stands for. Take it. Use it as a good luck charm. Listen to me, Clover. No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. <laughs> Snake, I, I mean, your brother. He's not dead. He's alive, somewhere. I, I'm sure of it. You've just gotta believe in that. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Now oh, come on. Seven's waiting for us at the exit. Wait, before we go, there's one thing I want to ask you. What's that? What do you think when you hear the word experiment? Uh, what? Oh, I guess it was just a coincidence, then. I mean, that you knew about the four-leaf clover. Uh, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I don't want to be a jerk, but you are making less than no sense right now. Oh, no, no, no. It's nothing. Just forget about it. Oh, don't, don't give me that. Uh, you really think I could just drop this? What is this experiment you were talking about? You promise you won't tell anyone? Cross my heart. Really? Really. I can trust you, right? Of course you can. Okay, then. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what happened on this ship nine years ago. Wait, wait, wait. On this ship? Yeah, this ship. It was an experiment to test some sort of psychic thing. Communicating through these fields okay, that you can't we're see. We're back to the, the thing. The, what do you call? Fields that you can't see? Like, think about this. This is John, right? But is he oh really God. John? Oh my god, we're gonna go through this like a whole nother um, whole thing, aren't we? Huh? Isn't this like Locke's socks? Or the ship of Theseus? Um... You don't know? You haven't heard of those paradoxes? I... Theseus' ship, I know. Locke's socks, I think she made up. No? Really? Okay, well pay attention then. This is how Locke's socks works. Let's say I've got a pair of socks. They're my favorite socks. One of them gets a hole in it. What would you do if that was your sock, Junpei? Well, I, I guess I'd patch it up, get some cloth, and close up the hole. But what if another hole opens? I'd add another patch, I suppose. What if another hole opened after that? Um, another patch, I guess? Well, let's say you just keep adding new patches. Until eventually, the original cloth of the sock is totally gone. Once you get to that point, can you really say they're the same socks you started with? Hmm, uh, well, that, hmm, that's, oh, that, that's tough. So, that's the lock socks thing? Yeah, I think it's just fun to the say. The ship of Theseus is a lot like it. The ship oh, we're gonna do both. Okay, I'm gonna skip through this because eventually, it's the same. Can you really say that? And what if you took all the old parts from the first ship and built another one somewhere else? Then which ship is the real ship of Theseus? The one you repaired, or the one you built with all the original parts? Hmm. Hey, do you think it's the same? What's the same? These guys. Is this John, or is it Lucy now? Uh. Oh, 
The puzzle was easy. You swapped the entire body but the head. I didn't even notice. John's head and heart are both oh, his. Oh, his heart. But apart from those and a single arm, the rest of his body was once Lucy's. We're just like these mannequins. Think about it. The cells in our body change every day. Old ones die and new ones are born. Maybe part of my arm is made of stuff from a fish I ate once. Or maybe part of your right side is made from a cow you ate. If you take it a little further, those cows and fishes are made from something else too, right? That's how we're all connected. Through fields that can't be seen with the naked eye. This is definitely a game that takes place over nine hours and probably takes longer than nine hours to actually play through. Hey, what the hell is taking you two so long? How long are you gonna make me wait? We don't have time to screw around. <sighs> oh, what were you two doing? Was this some sort of secret meeting? No, it wasn't. We were just... Just... Playing. With the mannequins. Huh? Let's go, Junpei. Playing with mannequins, huh? <laughs> Didn't know you were into that kind of thing, Junpei. <sighs> <sighs> You're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. This is not a coherent group at all. Is that cool? You don't need to keep asking. Just do it, all right? <sighs> Fine, then. <sighs> all right. Let's get going. Hey, man, what's up with you? You're so serious, you know? Can't you sound more happy? You know, get a little excited? <sighs> uh, not really. <sighs> My brother... My I'm brother. going to be next. Like hell I can. Not after hearing something like that. Okay, there we go. This is a good ending point. I'll, I will end whenever whatever happens immediately now. There too, huh? Oh, okay. We're still going. Every door in this place is locked up tight. How about that one? May as well give it a try. Jumpy! Huh? June? And Santa? And Lotus too? Whoa! What the hell is this? <sighs> what are you doing here? What? But... We didn't... Hey, guys! Could you come take a look at this? Look on the wall here. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? Door 7. And... Door 8. Yep. They both eventually end up at this hallway. Yeah. Isn't that what I said? We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door 9. That's how the nonary game works. I see. Wait a sec. Hey, could this lead to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I uh, almost forgot. We should keep this. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. We're back. In the hospital room. I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. Oh my god, Ace, you didn't die. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory, and then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. Well, yeah, but we, we got the key, and I'm assuming they got the other key, which means we can now leave this area. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Also, I'm sorry to Pat. This is going to take a while to get to this other one. Well, we saw each other again, and we ain't dead. So I say that's good enough. Anyway, I say we get out of this creepy old place. We found the key we need. The, the key? Ain't that what I just said? I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Right, Junpei? Yeah. Oh, the solar system keys. Actually, we found one in the laboratory, too. Here, the Earth key. I might lose it. It's probably better if you hold on to it. That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Yeah, on it. Ah, we have three keys that we haven't used yet. Yeah. The Jupiter key that we found in the operating room. The Saturn key card we found in the kitchen. And the Earth key Lotus just gave me. 
The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? Yeah. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. Then, next to the stairs... Wait! What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. Just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Very well. I'll be coming with you then. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. So, Seven, you'll help me, won't you? Huh? Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Yeah, I'm not sure what the highlighting part okay, of the brackets we're are off. for. Alright, we should get moving too. Huh? Get moving? Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. Oh, I get it! We're gonna see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yes. If we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. All right, Junpei, open it if you please. Yeah, on it. Great, back to the beginning. You sure this is a good idea? What do you mean? Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. Of course there's a reason. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? This. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? I'm lost. Don't you remember, Santa? On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big... And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with this... And on A Deck... I'm sorry, I'm skipping through because the... it's explaining stuff. So, the two keys kind of that Jumpy obvious. has? Should let us use the elevator. Yes! yes. The keys right. that we have open say doors. We... Lotus and, and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn, all right? Sounds good. We have no idea what's on the other side of these, so don't go too far. Just search for ten minutes and come back. There's a card reader next to the left elevator. Then let's try out the Saturn key card. Great! It looks like it's working now. All right. Now, how do I call the elevator? Oh, it only has the upside-down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. Well, we may as well try pushing this one. It... it opened! Look, Jumpy! Oh, sweet! It opened! Let's get going. W w wait Is this what? What? Uh... I'm not really, uh... I just, uh... Oh, gosh. Well, um... We will be all alone in here. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, uh, nothing. It's not important. Come on, let's go. I said, wait a minute. Why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never, you know. It's your first time? It's an elevator. I might get wet. Oh no, oh, we're doing, we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Uh, uh, oh, what? Down there. Oh my God. I get soaking we're wet. Doing this, we're doing this right now. Okay, great. This is going to be the last thing before we head out, so. Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. That's... That's true. <sighs> you don't mind? Mind what? Getting wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know... Okay. Like it. Now you're not talking about the elevator. Gosh, anymore. Jumpy, you're so brave. Really? 
I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? Junpei used his, like, ten minutes of being not an idiot to, for the scene with Clover with the bookmark. What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do. I guess. You're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. They're both stupid. Uh, that I... doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. I... I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. Yes, so I don't think I'll be able to last very long. I am and uncomfortable. Over. Does this does this happen if you pick the other option? Uh, over? Yes. We'll go to heaven. Heaven? It feels kind of like you're floating in space and your mind gets all it fuzzy. It keeps going. Like this is a very long out. scene. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. From experience dying? Uh, yes, I've, I've heard that too. Although I, I don't think the same thing happens to guys. What? Huh? But it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone once it gets into your body. The same thing okay. happens to we're just Okay, we're just gonna keep going. Oh, well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it Oh my god, we're gonna keep going. Man. The scene is not, it's not, Generally. it's- Yes, it does. Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Oh no. Your body oh god. It's you to still it's we're, no, I'm going I'm skipping through it. I'm sorry. Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what Oh, is that so? <laughs> I know most Read men quickly. probably have larger lungs, but even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 Oh my god, they're still going. Ten. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Once that happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore, and you'll start oh, no, to feel like that it. floaty feeling as you pass out. Uh, Why are they still uh, going? Oh. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. See? <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor. Oh my God! Is okay, we're underwater. done. We're done. We're done. Okay. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. That is pretty scary. Hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise, like it was moving, and then it opened. Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, is it? The walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah. Watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two, E and C. All right, I'll push E. I, I think I can hear it opening on E deck. Okay, that's done. Now I'll just press the button again. Yep, not a single drop of water to be seen. See? What does that mean? How can E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. The elevator shaft and E deck must be watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. I see. Are the, so like, is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The squeaky sharpie noises direct ASMR necessary. The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. This is a beautiful diagram. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, alright? Um, but- Come on, just do it, alright? I'm coming with you! Huh? Hey, wait! Crap, it closed. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. It looks normal. I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, Malice. <laughs> I didn't mean to, for him to go to the song, but I got really into the game. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. <sighs> You're right. It's not flooded at all. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. 
What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? Well, we'd probably get really wet up there. Huh? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can. Once we're Good done looking around joke. down here. To three seconds ago. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then, iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe. Well, it looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Let's check. I knew it. This is a numbered door. But we can't do anything with only the two of us. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Oh my god, Wait, is the cutscene still going on? Is this the map for E deck? I should take it with me. I love when it's black with dialogue, it's just like footage. So you footage guys found door out. one. So now we've located two new doors. The six door and the one door. You know, it is interesting that E deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Yeah, even so, it's still very interesting. You said the six door was there, right? Yes. And that means Zero planned all this out, even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. Yeah, they only know specifically about the Titanic, and if it's not related to the Titanic, they don't know, they don't know it. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. 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 Um. Okay, good night, Roxy. We're gonna finish soon. Yeah? Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. I, like, I knew that this would be a very long cutscene, and I, I wanted to see it through, hey! but like, my goodness. Where the hell did you guys go? Seven? Hmm. Um. What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Snake was... Snake is... Snake is dead. Aww. He died, just as the ninth man did. He, why did he go through on his own? He knew that was going to happen. Oh my god. That's not true, is it? Uh, we should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. Wait. Not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Uh, where is... Uh... Where is he? Shower room. The left side of the hallway. I put a broom in there too to keep the door open. I'm about to go to, to bed probably. I don't want to look at that. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Then let's go. This wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. I mean, I'm assuming it'll censor it, but I hope it does because I, I gotta be by myself oh, and smart it after smells this. horrible. Ugh. Yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel I don't like I'm gonna look. puke. I don't wanna look. Uh, ooh. Uh, hmm. Where is he? Where's Snake? There. June, you should stay here. But... Please, just do me a favor, okay? Alright? I'm going in. Um... Uh... Yeah. Uh... Just like Ace said, just like the ninth man, the detonator and his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. Oh god, the, the bone is coming out of his left arm. It's definitely an open fracture. Oh, the face. It's horrible. Yeah, can't even tell who it is. Uh, but the clothes are... No mistake about it. It's Snake. Oh, what, you think it's somebody else wearing Snake's clothing for some reason? Snake was probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the Ninth Man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. 
and waited nine seconds for the door to shut. Once that door shut, it was all over for Snake. But he didn't give up. He probably knew it wouldn't do him any good, but he probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead. It was a small chance, but it wasn't like he had anything to lose. But fortunately, it didn't work. The detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead. Wouldn't the other person also be dead, though? Snake was the only one who went through the door. And then 81 oh, it, it didn't was shoved in. It doesn't trigger unless they both go through. That happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. It wouldn't open for Snake and a single killer. Yeah, that means we're looking at multiple perps here. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Watch this cutscene continue for another 30 minutes. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. And that means none of us have alibis. We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah, that means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Well, not just one of us. If I'm right, then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know? What Zero wants? Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Any game has a winner and loser. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner. And those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yes. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. He was behind three? Wasn't he? Because... Right? Because the, the number of doors was three, seven, and eight. We went through seven. That wasn't seven. I don't think it was eight. But I'm not sure. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Otherwise, we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake... Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. If there's anyone we should doubt, it should be Zero. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. Doesn't it seem reasonable that he would have killed Snake as well? Hmm. Good question. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. What do you what do you guys think? I feel like I assume that he's on the ship with us. But I don't I don't like I think he's here. I, I don't know. I'll say he's here. I'm pretty sure he's here. I don't really have any salt over this though. But I don't. Where could Zero be hiding? I think. We've passed like a million locked doors. He could be anywhere. I think Zero is one of us. Oh, you think Zero is one of us? Okay, so then Zero is here and, Zero, and one of us killed Snake. I mean, that's possible. I don't. I don't know. Hmm. Well, that's possible. Huh? Like Clover said, Zero might be one of us. What are you saying, Jumpy? Didn't you hear what Ace said? Exactly. I said we shouldn't suspect one another for no reason. No reason. I've got a great reason. And what's that? The bracelets. Why are the bombs in our bodies connected to the bracelets? You can- well, no, I want to hear it. Put the theory in chat. You know what? Please. Because it's a theory. It's just a- it's just a- Wait, Malice, are <laughs> you saying that you have a game theory? You're all thinking Zero's hiding somewhere watching us, right? If he's doing that, then he could just detonate the bombs by remote control if someone did something they weren't supposed to. It would be a lot more precise and a lot easier. But, if that's the case, then why is the bomb set off by the detonator in the bracelet? Also, uh, Jinpei, as I'm also wearing a red plaid shirt, although it's a slightly different plaid. Huh. 
You got a point. I'm not done. Try applying the same ideas to the Nonary game. All of the puzzles here run all by themselves. In other words, Zero doesn't have to be controlling them for the game to move forward. Why is that? Why would Zero bother to do something like that? So let's say you and Clover are right. Zero's one of us. If that's the case, then it'd be really hard for him to keep track of all of us or control anything remotely. That's why all the puzzles run by themselves. That's what you're getting at, right? Yeah. Seven, when we were talking earlier, you said any one of us could be Snake's killer, right? Yeah, something like that. All right, then. I've got a question for you, Ace. You said something like Zero must be the one who killed Snake, right? Yes, something like that. I can't think of any other explanation. So what do we get if we combine those? They fit together pretty well, I think. Something like this. Whoever killed Snake is Zero. Hence, Zero is one of us. Seven and Ace's theories aren't mutually exclusive. They actually complement each other pretty well. At least they do if Zero is one of us. What were his motives? His motives? Yes, isn't that pretty important? Why would Zero want to hide as one of us? Oh, well, that's because... Uh, uh, see, now Lotus is gonna ask the real question. I... don't know. Well, so much for making a persuasive argument, Junpei. In other words, you only had circumstantial evidence. I don't really think that's enough to go on, you know? Do you think Lotus gets a headache from all of those big jade pieces stuck to her head? Ah. It's three in the morning. That means we have three hours left. Then we need to move now. Seven, Clover, Junpei. I know how you feel, but you do understand that right now it's important we trust one another, don't you? You're right, but... We must go. We have very little time left. Our next destination is Mercury. But maybe you and June should check it out first and then report back to us. All right, let's go, June. Right. Here it oh is. Oh my god, it, yeah, it, this might, we might actually get a full hour of cutscene again. The Mercury card reader. This game, I think, is mostly cutscene. We're using the card Seven gave us, right? Yeah. I found it when we were checking out the shower room. I think Seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us. But let's do our best. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. Uh, you know it's just for searching E-Deck, right? Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. Oh, first we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of- Just like we did before. Oh, here it is. I knew it. It's not Let's go. Yes. Look! Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, the, so the, the only one we the can bottom. choose is bottom. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. You're telling me they did a whole sex joke elevator bit and they didn't do it on the elevator that lets you go to bottom? I, this is disappointing. This is a s straight people writing sex jokes, I suppose. This is the bottom deck. Hey, over there. This is a numbered door. This is the eighth one we found. There were two numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Three more in the large hospital room. Doors three, seven, and eight. And the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck, and... That means... Do you think the next door we find? Yeah, I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Let's head back. Okay. This is straight up in a 40 minute cut long cutscene. One, two, three, four. All right, seven pieces. Just double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? Yes, just like you told us earlier. I can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah This is a complicated plan, you know. Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Yeah, yeah, quiet in the peanut gallery. All right, let's open these up. The 
first one says, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? We don't no, have time. No, we don't have time for that. Sorry. I Let's love keep going. the like handle vacations for Junpei and I just say the exact same thing. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Yeah, it's what I wrote. Hello, to Danny. Clover wants one, Lotus wants two, and Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the elephant man. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. But... Just give it up, Lotus. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I love that they keep making fun of her for being bold, despite the fact that she does not appear to be... old to me? I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. Barely. So, last I checked, that's not a crime. Maybe. But what about common decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. She, like... I love anime logic, where she has zero wrinkles, and everyone just complains about her being old constantly. Oh, I'm gonna kill you! Oh, not good. I honestly, like, I feel like, just make her look older, Jesus, if she's supposed to be older. Let also, are they, go, like, actually me, fighting? Killing him. Oh my god. Junpei, read the rest. Uh, right. June wants door six. Yes. I don't really have a reason. I just felt like it. So this was everyone's vote. Ace and Clover requested door one. Seven and Lotus requested door two. Santa and June requested door six. Then the door I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. I want to go through. What do you guys think? Also, this game has a ton of dialogue that's just people reading numbers. I didn't retain any of that, so I- I don't know, you, you guys should pick a door. I know that June wants six. And Ace wants one. Six is- Go for Ace? Okay. That's door one, right? Just gonna confirm before I hit the old enter key. Okay, Pat, say say yes or no or I'm gonna click it. Can I save? Alright, I get to save. Oh. Actually, I wanna see something. This is a very not good saving. My choice is door one. Hey, wait a minute there. You cheating? Cheating? I'm asking if you changed your number after you heard what doors we wanted. How could I do that? I wrote it down on the paper earlier. Let me see that. Sure, here. I had three pieces of paper ready. And I put Cheer. the one with door six on it into the pot. I just needed to make sure I drew last. After I saw everyone else's result, I just chose whatever door I wanted. If the number I'd already put in matched, then I didn't have to switch the paper out. Well, what does it say? <laughs> you got lucky. Very well. We've decided who will go through door one. It will be Clover, Junpei, and myself. Our only problem is the two remaining teams. June and I want door six. Lotus and I want door two. That's not good. We can't open either of those doors with only two people. <sighs> Aw. Fine. Seven, we'll go through door six. Sure thing. I didn't really want to go through door two anyway. Besides, if we've got a younger girl with us, it'll lower the average age. Right, June? Uh, well, I... I am... a pig. You just wait and see. Oh my god, why did her... Why did her portrait just, just slide across the whole screen that looked really goofy? Calling me old. I, I don't think it was supposed to do that. I think it was supposed to stop in the middle like the rest of them. That's really silly. This is why men are such a pain in the ass. They're about as subtle as a brick. And they're at it again.
I'll see you later, June. Jumpy. Don't make that face. It'll be like what Seven said. We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door 9. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see. Otherwise, we won't be able to... That's how the notary game works. It'll be fine. I'll see you soon. All right. See you later. Here's A-Deck. It was the door on the left, right? Mm. That should be it, yes. And here we go. It's just as Santa and Lotus said. A numbered door. There's the red. I'll go... Now the two of you, if you would. Also, Pat, I want to apologize. I genuinely did not think that this cutscene would be for, like, this long. Now. Are you ready? Yeah, anytime. Mm. Very well, then. Let's go. Three, two, one. And it's open! Move it! Where? Where is it? Uh, there it is! Oh. Uh. Oh, it stopped. Yes, it did. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this game before imminent death becomes a normal thing. <laughs> I agree. Now then. Okay, so this is the least bastardly, but we also There's have spent door. the least time with him. So he has time to become an asshole. Let's try opening it. So, this is the wheelhouse? Illegal nap. Ace, you investigate the wheelhouse next door. Very well. Clover, you're in charge of this room. Uh, Say something! Okay, I will. Alright then, let's get started. Yeah, that cutscene was a full-ass 45 minutes. Oh, good point. Two seconds.